it is okay to be single. You do not have to feel singled out. There is nothing wrong with you being single. Thank you guys for tuning in each and every week with me. If you don't know who I am, my name is LaShondra and I am the founder and CEO of Committed Journey. Here on my channel, you will find the best tips and strategies and wisdom for every journey of life. I just wanted to take some time to talk about a few common misconceptions about being single. I believe that the word single has had this stigma attached to it for far too long. You know, um, if you if you are single, I know that you probably have felt this before. You go out and you're around other um, people, whether they're married or in relationships. And it's just something about when the topic of singlehood comes up, people tend to cringe or um, react in a, some type of way as if it's a sin to be single. And it's not. It really isn't it's an awesome season and I believe that if people would take the time to really embrace their singlehood the season that they're in when they are um, single that they would uh, tend to understand that it's a, a very great and pivotal part of their life I mean even with them maturing and becoming the men and women that they should be everyone should take the time in their singlehood to really and truly learn who they are um, who they are in Christ learn what they like what they dislike and really get to know themselves you know there's not anything wrong with being single um, just the stigma in itself is very disheartening being single is a disease no being single is not a disease it's actually one of the most pivotal parts in your life if you have been in a relationship or just getting out of one um or maybe it has been some time but now you are single this is not a time to feel like you are missing out on something this is a time where you're supposed to be going through um and evaluating where you are mentally where you are spiritually and where you are physically this is a time where you are supposed to make sure that you are completely healed and that you are completely whole being single does not mean that you are singled out it should not be a time where you are being picked on this is where you take the time to build yourself up to be sure that you are where you should be being sure that you are the best you that you can be I am a leader of a singles ministry and it seems as though if I am inviting people out to come to a singles Bible study or a singles event people tend to turn their noses up because I don't believe that they really understand what it's about I just want to clear up the misconception that a singles event or gathering is not a space for hookup it don't think that we are trying to just gather a lot of singles together and see who we can hook up with no at least that is not the intent behind the events that I that I throw in all actuality is just a group of singles that get together and talk about where we are in our season we uplift each other we hang out just as a regular friendship it's it's a bonding experience um, and if you are a lot like a lot of us that are in the group we know married people we have family and friends um, as well and sometimes they are married sometimes they are single but they are in a relationship and so those are the type of people that are able to come and engage and have fun and come to singles events as well if you're not married you're more than welcome to come out we are not trying to hook you up with anybody we're just all gathering around and um just talking about the seasons that we're in, uplifting one another, sharing our ideas and aspirations, holding one another accountable, especially in the church. Um, what we do is we 
hold each other accountable to live according to the word of God. Just because you are single um, does not mean that you get to live a YOLO type of lifestyle. Um, we still like to live our lives according to the Bible, meaning that we are holy. Um, we try to live righteous. We try to live our lives um, a, a life that is pleasing to God. So it's not anything wrong with being single. And don't think that if we invite you out to a singles event is to um, play hookup. Another common misconception is that single people are married to their jobs. No, no, we are not married to our jobs. Um, however, if you do find someone that's single and they are grinding hard, it's because they are smart and they're wise. They're using their time to do exactly what they need to be doing. That's working toward their future, working toward building whatever life that they like to have. That is not putting their mind just to be consumed on finding a, a, a partner or a mate but it's actually utilizing the time that they have. Um, sometimes people tend to think that singles have a lot of time, but it, it just depends on the person in their lifestyle, um, how productive they are being within their life um, or not. But sometimes you will find a single that dive into work, um, but then you have those that have a work-life balance. And I believe that that is healthy for all singles, for all people in, uh, in general. You should have a work-life balance. So don't be under that misconception that all singles do is work all the time or they throw themselves into work to um, hide from not having a relationship. That is so untrue. I've also heard that married people or those that are in relationships are much happier than those of us that are single. That is so not true. That is a myth. I mean, listen, I am all for healthy, loving marriages. Okay? I am all for that. But I've seen some marriages that are desperately needing help. So, don't let others especially if you're single make you think that you're missing out on something or your life is boring because you're single or um you're you don't have a healthier life or a happier life just because you are unmarried that is so not true also not all singles are lonely okay <laughs> i know it sometimes can appear that way but no n everyone that's single is not lonely like myself i enjoy being by myself i understand and i know how to entertain myself i know how to get along with myself i know how to sit in a quiet place within my thoughts within m my body and just be content with what i'm doing um i know sometimes people like to think that because you're single meaning don't have a significant other or a partner to share and do things with that you you are bored or you're lonely that is is absolutely false all single people do not want to be married and let me say that again all single people do not want to be married there i i know some single people who would prefer to stay single and it's just their preference not to say that there was anything traumatic that happened i think that um it's just their choice everybody has a choice on if they want to remain single or not but i'll just encourage those of you who choose to remain single that you should also choose to remain holy um, and that means that if you are going to be in a relationship or date or court or talk to have a friend whatever the term is these days whatever you guys classify your relationship as as long as you decide to stay single, meaning not to be married, I just encourage you to not be sexually intimate as well. And that's just according to the Bible. So if you do not want to be married, then you should not want to be sexually intimate either. I'd like to know what are some of the challenges that you face as a single. Drop those down in the comments as well, and then we can talk about those. Thanks for watching. See you next time.